week in America, a country facing a new test now. The Wuhan airport, almost no one here. A last flight out of Rome. This is the nursing home just outside Seattle. Dozens of people were just rushed off this cruise ship. This is ground zero. It is shut down. Another ambulance just pulled out. Now they're headed to the hospital. Time is of the essence. You can see the ship behind me. The first time tests have been done here. Morning, afternoon, evening, late night, 24-7. ABC News, there for you. The biggest surprises always happen on one show. Let's ask her why she didn't write back. Oprah, why didn't you write back? How many surprises are on the next Ellen? 369? I'm kidding. That's how many bottles of wine I've had this week. <laughs> Ellen, Monday at 4 on KITV4 Island Television. KITV4 Island News Midday. Hawaii's first new newscast. Catch breaking news here first to keep you and your family safe and informed with anchor Brenton Awa. Island news that matters to you. KITV4 Island News Midday. I have an announcement to make of interest to everyone. Sunday afternoons, tune into MeTV. For a three-hour tour. Oh, you can say that again. A three-hour tour. One of my favorite melodies. It's MeTV's three-hour tour of Gilligan's Island. Just leave everything to me. Six episodes of The Castaways. Incredible. For three full hours. It's a three-hour tour on MeTV. Sunday afternoons, starting at 2 on MeTV Hawaii. George Floyd. His name was George Floyd. Say his name. Say his name. George Floyd. Say his name. Say their names. Once again and always, we fight for justice. Black, Black Lives, Lives Matter. Matter. Go to blacklivesmatter.com. Rick Kwan on KITV4 Island News tonight. From KITV4 Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now, good morning, Hawaii. Another spike in new COVID-19 cases and a 19th death from the virus. We break down the numbers in our state. Plus, from fireworks to flotillas, how the pandemic is making this 4th of July weekend a little different this year. And COVID-19 is spreading in communities that didn't have it before. Find out what one doctor on the front line says about staying safe. Good morning, Hawaii. Happy 4th of July, every, everybody. Hopefully you're having a good holiday. Thanks for joining us for Hawaii's only weekend morning newscast. I'm Tom George. Aloha, kakahiaka. I'm Annalisa Burgos. The coronavirus has claimed another victim. It was an elderly woman in an Oahu nursing home who was hospitalized with several underlying health issues. There are now uh, actually 29 new cases from yesterday, 25 on Oahu, two on Maui, one on the Big Island, and one out of state. The total is now at 975. There are 156 presumed active cases on Oahu, nine on Kauai, six in Maui County, and five on the Big Island. About 79% of all people who've tested positive have recovered. Well, a contractor with the Hawaii State Hospital tested positive on Monday. The Department of Health says that person wore a mask at all times and had little to no contact with others. Now, right now, that person is self-isolating. Well, Lieutenant Governor Josh Green says if the number of cases continues to rise, our hospitals are ready. He says about half of the hospital beds across the state are being used and nearly 90% of ventilators are available. We're a small state and that could change very quickly. That's why I spend so much time watching that while we look at what will happen when schools open, what will happen if travel increases in the state. The lieutenant governor also stressed the importance of wearing masks this weekend, practicing social distancing and avoiding large gatherings. The flotilla's not gonna happen. Well, they may try, because this year everybody's trying to party you know, despite the social distancing requirements. Now, the Department of Land and Natural Resources is warning partygoers who might be planning to attend a 4th of July flotilla. If you go, you might be arrested because it's a violation of the state's emergency orders against large gatherings. Now, the event itself is dangerous. In 2017, a flotilla party in Waikiki sent at least 10 people to the hospital. KTV4's TJ Horgan explains why this year law enforcement will be watching even more closely. 
to float. Uh, there's a bunch of people in the middle of the ocean having a good old time. Or not to float. This is dangerous. People are going to, I mean, when you're that drunk, you don't belong in the ocean. I mean, these people are delirious drunk. Often hundreds of tubes strong, flotillas are a drunken staple of Hawaii's July 4th celebrations. Everybody meets with little rafts and they make their, they tie six or eight rafts together and they bring coolers full of beer and they get totally sauced. That you, well, you can drink and you can relax and float on the water. You can't gasp for nothing better than that. The state's reminding residents, though, attending a flotilla party this year could get you arrested, facing fines of up to $5,000 and possibly a year behind bars. A little bit bummed. I wouldn't mind swimming out and having a good time. Well, have you ever been to a flotilla? I go to them every year, but yes, this year it is canceled. Some say flotilla's been on its last legs ever since its 2017 rendition resulted in nearly 10,000 participants and hundreds of rescues, according to Honolulu Ocean Safety. I think it's a thing of the past. Last year, they wouldn't hardly let them do it. Even if it's a socially distant, masked celebration on land, many Hawaii residents are looking forward to spending quality time with loved ones. The pandemic's not going to change anything. We're still going to have a lovely time, enjoy the people, enjoy the beaches, keep everything clean, and have a happy 4th of July. TJ Horgan, KITV4 Island News. Well, a federal judge ruled that Governor David Ige's mandatory 14-day traveler quarantine is reasonable during this pandemic, so the order will stay in effect. A group of residents from Hawaii, California, and Nevada filed a lawsuit saying that it's unfair and unnecessary. A Hawaiian language and cultural practitioner, arguably the busiest frontline doctor during the pandemic and the director of the Department of Health, joined us on KITV4 Island News at 6 last night. Armika Miyashima has more on what Hawaii needs to know. The Department of Health shared concern about what it sees as disturbing evidence of community spread. We had uh, two more cases associated with that Hawaiian Airlines uh, training program, uh, which was expected. Um, um, altogether, we've had nine cases associated with that one event. At least five of the cases are linked to at least three gatherings that could be potential clusters. And some of the same can be seen while traveling across the country. Both of my flights were 100% not in an empty seat. Many people were taking their masks off during the flight or being very relaxed. The crowds in the airport, uh, it, it was almost like there wasn't a pandemic going on. As the state prepares to reopen tourism on August 1st, allowing travelers to skip a 14-day quarantine if they test negative 72 hours prior to their departure, there remains some concern. When you have that high of a prevalence, there's, how do you pick which person can safely come to Hawaii? Are we going to mandatorily say that Arizona or California or Florida or Texas, those people can come, but they have to go through quarantine or something? Uh, that's what other states are doing right now. A big question, where can people get tested before coming to Hawaii, was answered tonight. I just signed a contract with uh, CVS, uh, which is one of the huge uh, pharmacies. They have over 1,400 outlets, and uh, that, that uh, the contract really is just to be sure that, uh, that they have the, uh, that we have their support for this testing. Hawaiian community leader and educator Hinale Moana Wangkalu says the pandemic has already changed Hawaiian culture, reversing a we before me mentality. As long as we are able to still convey our aloha and our respect, I don't believe that in this current time that it's disrespectful for us to try to get accustomed to these ways. Mika Miyashima, KITV4 Island News. Well, Dr. Bruce Anderson didn't give a lot of details about the deal with CVS stores nationwide, but he did say the swab test would cost between $100 and $160. Well, for the most complete COVID-19 coverage, follow us on air and online at KITV.com. You can get the latest information on the coronavirus pandemic, plus up-to-the-minute alerts on our free KITV News app. All right, it's time now, 6.07, and if you're looking for some 4th of July plans, we've got some ideas on how you can catch some entertainment right here at home. Plus, a pilot project for Keiki in Need. Find out how it aims to make everyone feel included. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. You spoke, we listened. Tiny Tacos are back for good. 
Grab a box of 15 or try them loaded. Get them now with no contact delivery. In business, success is in the details. It's why Dietrich is the preferred insurer for many of Hawaii's successful retailers, popular hotels, and celebrated restaurants. At Dietrich, we know the smallest details matter. That's why we're just as meticulous about protecting local businesses as we are about protecting people's cars. Call Dietrich or your insurance agent. Mary worried about her dad. Was he safer at home all alone? Or was he too isolated? Mary struggled not knowing the right thing to do. Then she learned about the plaza and all they're doing to keep residents safe, engaged, and connected. Now her dad has new friends, is more active, and checks in regularly. Instead of worrying, Mary finally feels relieved. Find out if the plaza is right for you or your loved one. You're ready to drive again, and not just to the neighborhood store. In a new Honda, you can enjoy the open road with powerful performance. And your money can go farther, too, because Honda holds its value better than any other auto brand. Your Honda dealer is offering flexibility, like shopping online, so you can purchase with confidence. Get your new Honda today. KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. Insure Max Protein with high protein and one gram sugar. It's a sit up banana band at the waist. I'm trying. Keep it up. You'll get there. Whoa! 30 grams of protein and one gram of sugar. Insure Max Protein. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 6.09 a.m. Most 4th of July festivities are canceled because of the pandemic, but that doesn't mean you can't celebrate. Yeah, Rick Zamagella shows us how a virtual barbecue and online performances are keeping America entertained. My country to today. Sweet land of liberty. It's the 40th anniversary of PBS's A Capital Fourth. Hosted by John Stamos and Vanessa Williams, the nation's 244th birthday celebration features new performances and highlights from the event's 40-year history. The event will feature a tribute to America's frontline workers fighting the pandemic and live coverage of the annual fireworks display. A Capital Fourth airs on PBS stations Saturday from 8 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern and will also be streamed on Facebook and YouTube. If you miss it, the event will be available Available on VOD through July 18th. Austin, Texas band Fire from the Gods are hosting a 4th of July virtual barbecue. Fire from the Gods vocalist AJ Channer says he was inspired by the Juneteenth Tulsa block party to create the event to celebrate America's melting pot of cultures. Artists confirmed for the show include CeeLo Green, Richard Patrick of Filter, and Five Finger Death Punch. The event will benefit the social justice organization until freedom. Join the barbecue Saturday, July 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern on SoundDrink.Live. Streaming in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. And be sure and watch an encore presentation of our Living Room Live finale tonight at 7. We've raised more than $55,000 to help Hawaii families who are impacted by COVID-19. The donations from tonight's show will go to Helping Hands Hawaii and our Ho'okupu campaign. Again, that encore presentation out of Aloha uh, Together finale airs tonight at 7 right here on KITV4. And there's a new program on Oahu serving children in need. The Yes Project provides toiletries, books, learning materials, art supplies, and non-perishable food. The pilot project is three weeks old, and so far it's served more than 200 children. If we want students to feel connected to the schools, we have to go to them. And the name Yes Project kind of came out of the idea of a lot of kids in this population in unstable housing hear the word no a lot, or just maybe, or not yet. And so we wanted to be that kind of positive, like, yes, and we have resources and goods for you. Well, the Yes Project hopes to expand to other islands. And if you know someone who stepped up to help their community during the pandemic, let us know. Share their story with us so we can share it with others on air and online in our Nomea Pono or Noble Cause campaign. Just head to KITV.com slash Nomea for more information. 
Well, the pandemic has hit families hard with some struggling to keep food on the table. KITV4 created our Ho'okupu, or giving campaign. We partnered with the nonprofit Helping Hands Hawaii and have support from other local companies to purchase grocery store gift cards for families in need. Now, so far, we raised almost $18,000. One donor alone gave $10,000. But every single dollar makes a difference. To find out how you can help, just go to our website, kitv.com backslash give. All right, the time now, 6.13 a.m. We've all been feeling it. It's hot and muggy inside and outside. Allison has a check on our weekend forecast. Plus, if you're hosting a 4th of July celebration at home, you don't want to miss out on important safety tips. Our Health Minute is coming up next. Stay with us. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. Time now, 6.13. Watch KITV4 Island News tonight at 10. COVID-19 has left many families in Hawaii struggling with historic unemployment. KITV4 has partnered with Helping Hands Hawaii to launch Ho'okupu. Ho'okupu will identify unemployed families who cannot afford proper nutrition. By purchasing grocery store gift cards, these donations will feed hungry families. Please visit kitv.com slash give to donate today. Together, we can help Hawaii's families in need. Mahalo. Every drop of water is part of a journey. It begins as water vapor that falls to earth as rain. For the next 25 years, it's filtered through volcanic rock. At last, it arrives at its final destination. Really? Can somebody come fix this? When it comes to water, don't waste a drop. At Farmers, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Like how nice it is to save on your auto policy. But it's even nicer knowing that if this happens... Or this happens... Or this... Or this... Or even this... We've seen and covered it. So switch to Farmers and you could save. Get a quote today. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. This summer, we'll be traveling in a cabin where every seat is premium and all baggage flies free. So fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the panoramic views. Nissan is offering non-stop routes to summer. And now is the best time to get into a new Nissan. Get a low $179 per month lease on Sentra. Or get no payments for three months. Plus, we'll cover your payments for up to two more months. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 6.15. Fourth of July celebrations are looking a little different this year. That's right. The big fireworks displays are canceled, but some families are still hosting their own at home. Melissa Rainey has important safety tips in today's Health Minute. The large Independence Day celebrations we're used to, complete with show-stopping fireworks displays, may be on hold this year in many places due to coronavirus. And that means many people might be tempted to create smaller fireworks shows of their own. And that has experts worried. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, about 10,000 people were treated for fireworks-related injuries in 2019. 73% of those occurred around the 4th of July. Handheld sparklers were the number one item behind those accidents. That's why the CPSC wants to remind us all how to safely handle these potentially dangerous items. First, find out what's legal in your area to use. Never allow children to ignite or handle these items. Have a bucket of water or hose nearby. Light fireworks one at a time, then back away quickly. Never try to light or relight malfunctioning fireworks. Never point devices at people and douse fireworks in water before disposing of them. These tips can help ensure you have a fun and safe time this holiday weekend. For today's Health Minute, I'm Melissa Rainey. A study has found that some of America's most common fireworks could be toxic. It suggests that some fireworks emit lead, copper, and other toxins. The metals, which give fireworks their vibrant color, were to remain, um, well, were found actually to damage human cells and animal lungs. Harmful levels of lead were found in two of 12 types of commercially available fireworks sampled. 
Well, America is running out of fireworks and compared to last year, consumer demand is up 155%. China supplies most of the world's fireworks, but production stalled earlier this year because of the pandemic. With most big fireworks displays canceled, people are buying more sparklers and firecrackers. <laughs> the demand has business right now fizzling. Meanwhile, for many Americans, celebrating the Independence Day weekend is more than cookouts and fireworks. Cannabis is evidently a big part of the holiday, too. One tech company predicts U.S. cannabis sales will see a nearly 90% increase over average daily sales this weekend. It also says more money will be spent on cannabis than on food for July 4th cookouts. Marijuana is legal for recreational use in nearly a dozen states and for medical use in more than 30. All right, taking a live look now over Honolulu as the sun coming up there. Let's head to Allison with your weekend forecast. Good morning, Allison. Hey, Tom and Annalisa, and good morning, Hawaii. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday morning. Right now, it's about 73 degrees here in Honolulu, and it is going to be a hot and humid day. We're off to a bit of a cool start right now, but that humidity is just killer for this morning. Anytime you see that dew point around 71 and above, and that humidity above 65%, we are clearly way past that mark. You know it is going to be an uncomfortable day. And we also have light and variable winds, so no, not much of a breeze to help us out with that heat for today. We're seeing those winds mostly in the single digits. But taking a look at our Doppler radar, we're seeing a lot of activity across our satellite, but not a lot of rain actually not as much rain actually making landfall, but let's zoom in for a closer look for Kauai County. We're seeing most of that rain focus over the Windward and Malka spots this morning. Just some passing rain, typical trade showers there, and a lot of rain moving offshore, but as far as this morning, we are just expecting trade showers for the Windward and Malka spots. Sunnier skies for leeward areas until the afternoon. Because of those light winds, we are expecting that sea breeze pattern to develop, meaning we are expecting to see some afternoon clouds and showers for those leeward and central spots in the Big Island. We have that cloud of the band of moisture reaching from Hilo all the way down to South Point. And if you want to cool off like this adorable baby, take a look at Kylia Mitchell from the Big Island. If you want to see her photos featured, send it to pics at kitv.com. So adorable there in her little snail pool. So cute. If you want to head outside and take a hike, head to the beach. Again, morning rains, windward and Malka spots. Later on in the day, clouds and showers. A chance of rain there for leeward and central areas. It'll be hot and humid. Our daytime high at 88 degrees and not much of a breeze either. That's a check on your weekend forecast. All of more on your surf later on in the show, but for now, you are watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Rick Kwan, weeknights on KITV4 Island News Tonight at 10. COVID-19 has left many Hawaii families struggling with historic unemployment. KITV4 has partnered with Helping Hands Hawaii to launch Ho'okupu. Ho'okupu will identify unemployed families who can't afford proper nutrition. By purchasing Grocery Star gift cards, these donations help feed hungry families. Please visit kitv.com slash give to donate today. Together, we can help Hawaii's families in need. Mahalo. You're ready to drive again, and not just to the neighborhood store. In a new Honda, you can enjoy the open road with powerful performance. And your money can go farther, too, because Honda holds its value better than any other auto brand. Your Honda dealer is offering flexibility, like shopping online, so you can purchase with confidence. Get your new Honda today. KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. InSolid has been in business in Hawaii for 20 years. It specializes in fabricating solid surfaces, especially showers, ideal for bathrooms that can change as we age. InSolid has custom models for exact fits for any space. InSolid products are non-porous and seamless. This means no grout and no place for mold or mildew to grow. Contact us today for a free estimate at 808-676-5522. 808-676-5522. If our leaders cut vital city and state services, you can expect longer waits when you call 911. Fewer lifeguards watching our beaches. Fewer custodians sanitizing our airports. Fewer inspectors making sure our food is safe. Longer delays before kids go back to school. A longer road to recovery. 
That's what happens if we cut Vital City and State services. Accurate and experienced KITV4's Island Weather Team. Good morning, Hawaii. back. Your time now is 622 and we've all been dealing with uh, some new COVID cases here in Hawaii and uh, as we debate reopening to visitors uh, next month, the Ninth Island has already opened up to tourists, but there are also some concerns about that leading to a spike in cases. So before uh, we, go, we go to our uh, live report, we want to show you a live look right now. Uh, this is a look at uh, this is actually a look at the number of cases that we've seen spiking since they uh, reopened just about a month ago. So definitely uh, a little bit of a cause for concern there in Las Vegas, but obviously it is a holiday weekend and uh, people are excited to get back into the groove of things in Las Vegas. So uh, joining us live from the Ninth Island right now is uh, my, my old friend. Mm -hmm. He's actually in the middle of a staycation, so you're actually the per perfect person to talk to about this right now. How's it going out there, Joe? Yeah, Tom, it's been really kind of exciting to see Las Vegas kind of back in the swing of things. We were closed for so long, and now we're seeing the tourists start to come back really from all over the world. We were walking on Fremont Street last night, which is just to my right here, and it was literally packed with people. They were checking IDs and making sure people were wearing their face coverings, and that's one of the requirements that you have to have here in Nevada when you go into one of these casinos or hotels. You must wear a face covering, which is, you know, taking some getting used to, but there's also some other things that are going on, too like you have to get your temperature checked as well and if you get flagged or stopped they'll recheck you again and then they may not let you into the hotel so it's something to keep in mind if you do come here to las vegas and you know and you're out there live uh, downtown i mean i've never seen it you know not that packed you know it's kind of it's kind of weird seeing it that that empty yeah, it's, it's not as busy right now. Let's kind of take a look right now. Kind of, you see this is the Golden Gate right here. There's only a few tourists. It's only about 9.20 local time, so there's not that many people out. And also, we're right in front of the plaza, too. And you can see this is normally filled up. If you're familiar with Las Vegas, of course, you're normally seeing a lot of cars here. But just a few people uh, milling about here. But like you mentioned, it's a holiday weekend, so it's really when the nighttime starts to uh, really crank up that we have to start to see a lot more people flooding into the kind of Fremont Street some of the casinos as well and one quick thing tom i want to show you really quick maybe people are familiar with it but take a look at circa circle right there right next to the cal i was inside the cal last night but this is the circa if you want to pan all the way up to the top there you can see the top of the tower has finished and they are uh, finishing ahead of schedule they're going to be at least partially opening later this year as well so if you want to get to las vegas you may want to check out the circa the, the first new brand new from the ground up uh, uh resorts here in downtown las vegas since 1980. Wow. Really a great uh, venue. And you, well, you said the magic words for Hawaii people, the Cal. That's where they, uh, they really love to stay there. But um, well, when you do go back, obviously here in Hawaii, people can't really travel again until uh, August because you know, they have to quarantine when they come back. But what can they expect in terms of the mask enforcement when we go there? So when you come to Las Vegas, you'll be able to, you know, come here and there's no uh, there's no quarantine period for visitors. So anyone can really come here and go right into a casino or a hotel. There's no quarantine period required. Uh, you mentioned the face mask requirements. You will need one when you go into any of the properties or any gaming facility. You will be required to have a face covering both your nostril and your mouth. And you will also be uh, potentially at risk of being kicked out of a hotel or a casino if you don't have a face covering on. There's signs at the plaza here that we were uh, looking at and noticing when you come in there and they, they give you a flyer when you check in giving like a, a list of uh, rules and one of them is you must wear that face covering and if you don't you are facing a possible eviction from the property the Nevada Gaming Control Board not messing around with this directive they've come down these facilities have to have their customers wearing these face coverings uh, to stay open essentially and, and we heard that uh, Governor Sisolak is actually kind of bringing the hammer down on businesses right if they don't comply with this mandate yeah, so just uh, yesterday I was seeing that there was a basically a survey that was put out to businesses asking them if they are in compliance with this directive to wear a face covering uh, for their customers at least. And about 49%, so and half of the businesses were not 
in compliance with that directive. So uh, he is really stressing and he really kind of lashed out those businesses saying that if you do not require your customers to wear face coverings, you are putting yourself at risk, you're putting your community at risk, your industry at risk. And he has threatened that if you do not, uh, business licensing, uh, they are out in force for Clark County and Las Vegas, going out, making sure that people are wearing face coverings. And if not, it's the business that is the potentially at risk of either getting a verbal warning or possibly losing their license. So what you're on staycation right now. What's it actually like right now? I mean, it's just so different than ever before. I mean, are you still are people still able to have fun? Yeah, I think so. Um, you mentioned, you know, staycation here. We didn't want to travel outside of the states and, and we really wanted to kind of stay local. And so we've been bouncing around. We were on uh, the strip of the Venetian. And aside from the face coverings, you wouldn't really notice that anything was really different. Uh, the table games, you can see the partitions when you're playing games. Um, there's the partition as well. The, the, all the, uh, the uh, folks are wearing masks as well. They're dealing the cards. Um, also, the pit bosses are wearing masks as well. The cocktail waitresses are wearing face coverings. Um, but they try to incorporate that into their, their uniform. So after a little bit, you don't really even notice that they're still wearing those face coverings. Some uh, employees are also wearing uh, uh, gloves as well. Uh, in terms of the, the really the customer experience, really nothing has changed in, in terms of um, how Vegas actually operates and, and the fun that you have with it. There is no live entertainment. That's one thing if you're used to coming to Vegas and seeing a show or seeing a band or seeing some of those street performers live entertainment right now is not allowed so that's that's taking some getting used to but we were at the pool we were uh, hanging out at some of the restaurants uh, some re some reservations of course but tables are spaced apart they're not nearly as busy so i think I think it's actually a little bit more enjoyable. Hey, you know, I, I, know. I, well, you, well, you know me. I'm always down to go back. We'll hang out the next time I'm on the Ninth <laughs> Island. Always a pleasure, yeah. uh, Joe Bartels. All right, have fun. Yeah, absolutely. All sure. right, more news and weather after the break. Stay with us. Mary worried about her dad. Was he safer at home all alone? Or was he too isolated? Mary struggled not knowing the right thing to do. Then she learned about the plaza and all they're doing to keep residents safe, engaged, and connected. Now her dad has new friends, is more active, and checks in regularly. Instead of worrying, Mary finally feels relieved. Find out if the plaza is right for you or your loved one. Oh, we love our new home. Neighborhood's great. Amazing school district. The HOA has been very involved. These shrubs aren't board approved. You need to break down your cardboard. Thank you. Violation. Violation. I see you've met Cynthia. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. And does help us save a bunch of money. Two inches over regulation. Thanks, Cynthia. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. COVID-19 has left many Hawaii families struggling with historic unemployment. KITV4 has partnered with Helping Hands Hawaii to launch Ho'okupu. Ho'okupu will identify unemployed families who can't afford proper nutrition. By purchasing grocery store gift cards, these donations help feed hungry families. Please visit KITV.com slash give to donate today. Together, we can help Hawaii's families in need. Mahalo. When America needed us to build, we built. Masks, ventilators, shields. When frontliners needed support, Ford dealers answered. And now we're open and ready to serve you. With special offers like 0% financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Stop by a Ford dealership or go online. We've made it safer to shop, easier to buy. Your Ford dealers understand your financial situation. Now get 0% for 72 months on most new Ford vehicles. Only at your Hawaii Ford dealers. Now, from KITV4 Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back, everybody. Time now, 6.31 a.m. Another member of President Trump's campaign has tested positive for the coronavirus. Yeah, as Christine Sloan reports, this all comes as cases are surging across the nation as Americans celebrate the 4th of July holiday this weekend. A much different July 4th weekend amid a surging number of COVID-19 cases. Beaches closed in hot spots like Texas, California, and Florida. But it's the crowds that have leaders concerned. It's not the beaches per se that are the problem. It's the crowds that are creating. 
crowds are not good. More than 9,400 new infections in the Sunshine State. Nearly 15% of all tests positive. Employees at 30 public supermarkets also testing positive. A 10 p.m. curfew in effect in Miami to stop the spread. What happened is that when somebody's at, in, at home for six weeks, they get tired and they really get stir crazy. So they're out in the streets. So people are fighting using the mask social distancing. Arizona, one of 26 states seeing a rise in hospitalizations. ICUs at 91% capacity. Phoenix and San Antonio using pediatric ICUs for adults as they run out of beds. Texas Governor Greg Abbott ordering everyone across the Lone Star State to wear a mask. To stop the spread, up to 80% of fireworks displays in the U.S. canceled. But that's not stopping local leaders, including the mayor of Lancaster, California. This is America, and this is our birthday, and it is the worst year that we have ever experienced. The only thing that will stop it is handcuffs. At least 19 states have reversed or paused reopening, imposing strict new rules. As concerns the virus may have mutated and spread more easily. The virus replicates better and may be more transmissible. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York. And back here at home, the way Hawaii celebrates the country's 244th birthday. Looking good for 244, America. Expected to be uh, much different this year. KTV4's Eddie Dowd gives us a look at how some people are breaking tradition this 4th of July. Kirby Lovino remembers camping overnight near Magic Island to reserve a spot for the annual fireworks display. That show, as well as the camping, canceled due to the pandemic. Not the same as before. It is what it is. You know, just got to make the best of it. Today, he can only reflect. He understands the need to reduce large gatherings, and he hopes it's temporary. His childhood memories of the fourth, though, are permanent tents and stuff around here just pretty much all along the side of the road you know everybody just having fun barbecuing everything's canceled so we just decided to come to the beach and just enjoy the great weather compared to last year the honolulu fire department reports a drop in the number of people who applied for firework permits but if it came out that it was related to covid i wouldn't be surprised but for the Gamata Stacy family, it's even harder to accept less Ohana on the holiday. Like many families, restrictions of the coronavirus are too tough to overcome. We haven't seen family like how we usually do for the social distancing. And Herb Lavino is disappointed he can't create new 4th of July memories with his own keiki. Eddie Dowd, KITV4, Island News. And just a reminder, anybody attending a flotilla party along East Oahu this weekend, you could be arrested under the state's emergency proclamation. Large gatherings are prohibited, and anybody who's caught, you could be fined up to $5,000 or face up to a year behind bars. The time now is 6.35 a.m. Oahu Transit Services started its company-wide COVID-19 testing yesterday after a bus driver tested positive for COVID-19. As KITV 4 as Nicole Tam explains, it's not the only measure being taken to help keep passengers safe. Initially, Roger Morton, president and general manager of OTS, says testing would be required. We found out it's voluntary and only about 100 of its more than 2,000 employees showed up. It's going to go in both of your nostrils for 10 seconds on each side. Handy Van Operations Supervisor Joanne C. Peely is one of the employees that did get nasal swabbed. It was a bit uncomfortable, um, has a little bit of a stinging sensation, but then when they start to pull the swab out, that's where you kind of feel it. When Sipili first heard about the infected driver, admittedly, she got nervous. That's why she showed up. Even though I'm not out there on the front line, the operators come in through the building every single day, so I see a lot of them. So um, it's just um, that reassurance knowing that you don't have it. Some of the passengers who ride the bus tell me drivers should be examined more frequently. I think it's great. And uh, the more people getting tested, I think that's good. So we all know where we're at in life. And 
be safe. As another precaution for drivers and riders, OTS is testing four types of shields inside its buses. Once the bus driver gets on the bus, they can secure the barrier. And as an extra layer of protection, they can also slide this panel over. The city hopes its efforts to help prevent the coronavirus from spreading gives passengers peace of mind. The risk of catching a uh, virus from our operator is pretty, pretty slight no matter what because uh, the, the encounter that one has with the operator is very short. Results could take up to two days. There's also two more testing events for OTS employees next week. At Alapai Transit Center, Nicole Tam, KITV4 Island News. New this morning, President Donald Trump has signed an extension of the Paycheck Protection Program into law, according to the White House. The White House unanimously, oh, excuse me, the House unanimously passed the extension less than a day after the program shuttered, and PPP will now remain open to applications through August 8th. Congress created the program to help small businesses help employees on their payrolls amid nationwide closures. And back here at home, a Waikiki bartender who recovered from COVID-19 is defending an industry that he believes has been getting a bad rap. That's right. He does say that most local bars are taking steps to help keep employees and customers safe, despite what many people think. Andrew Mitchell worked behind the bar on St. Patrick's Day, just before the statewide lockdown. A few days later, he lost his sense of taste and smell and experienced sinus pain that wouldn't go away. But he didn't have a fever. Knowing is better. He tested positive for COVID-19 on March 24th. We do get a lot of tourists that come here. I mean, I don't know where I would have gotten it from. It could have been work. I went to the movies, I think, the last week. I go to dinner a lot. I mean, who knows? Luckily for him, Mitchell was never hospitalized and never in need of a ventilator. At 28 years old, he did worry his health could quickly take a turn for the worse. He's pouring drinks for his regulars again, and most of them, he says, act pandemic responsible. A lot of our guests have been really respectful on our changes. I know it's not as much fun as going out and having the whole room and everyone says hi to each other, but... You know, people have been really great about staying in their spot and distancing and keeping their hands sanitized. Like Mitchell, Legend Sports pub manager Kim May makes sure her customers comply with space seating, capacity limitations, sanitization, and mandatory face masks. Our come I a mentality is we care more about other people around us. Inviting people in, and but it is a responsibility for the businesses to make sure that your customers are, are doing the right thing. Both believe most locals respect the rules, but they aren't convinced tourists have the same mindset. We don't have the same issues of, I'm going to spit at you because you're not wearing a mask, or, you know, allowing people in and you can't control what's going on in the room. Well, Mitchell and others in the industry say they do not want Hawaii to follow states like Texas, Florida, and California. In those states, bars have been ordered to close down again due to clusters coming up. All right, let's take a look at this. A pizza pub in New York is making sure customers feel safe when they dine out. Pizza Plant unveiled these new bar pods on Friday. The cardboard shield acts as a barrier to further separate customers and maintain social distancing. Hmm. And as travel picks up again, hotels and rental homes around the nation are using some high-tech gadgets to keep visitors safe. But as Gio Benitez explains, the CDC says even with that, you should still take some of your own precautions. As thousands hit the road for the 4th of July weekend, many wondering this morning, what are hotels and companies like Airbnb doing to keep us safe? We are redefining our cleaning and safety standards. Hotel giant Marriott releasing this video promoting its cleaning procedures. A lot of the same technology we've seen on airplanes, those electrostatic sprayers, disinfecting hotel rooms and the buttons on the elevators. When you're in a lobby, at the pool, in a workout room, in hallways, 
anywhere where the public is gathering or passing each other, you're going to see a lot more cleaning, people physically cleaning more than they have in the past. The Beverly Hilton in Los Angeles using a UV light robot, which the manufacturer says reaches a 99.99% level of disinfection. But even with these measures, the CDC suggesting you take matters into your own hands, avoid the check-in desk altogether, and get a mobile key on your phone, minimize use of public areas like pools, game rooms, or fitness centers, and consider taking the stairs instead of the elevator. What they should look for is that the hotel cleans uh, the frequently touched surfaces often and um, that they require everyone to wear a face mask when not in their hotel room. And what about short-term rentals like Airbnb? After all, those are homes owned by private individuals. There's no inspection by the company. Hosts have to agree to Airbnb's cleaning protocol. So what we require is um, those hosts who are uh, participate in the cleaning protocol to attest that they are in fact applying it. The company saying there's a 24-hour hotline customers can call if the room isn't clean. And that was Gio Benitez reporting there. Well, for the most complete COVID-19 coverage, you can follow us on air and online at KITV.com and get the latest information on the coronavirus pandemic, plus up-to-the-minute alerts on your free KITV4 news app. Time now, 6.42 a.m., three Colorado police officers were fired and one more has resigned over selfies taken near the memorial site for Elijah McClain. As Clayton Sandell reports, the photos have sparked outrage from McClain's family. Hundreds of protesters demanding justice for Elijah McClain taking to the streets of Aurora, Colorado overnight. Save his name! Amid growing anger over a cruel new twist. This photo, they are actually reenacting. Is this a good down? Yeah, they're actually reenacting a karate control hold. Three officers in selfies, smiling and simulating the chokehold used on Elijah McClain two months after the 23-year-old massage therapist and violinist died after a confrontation with other officers. The police union says the chief rushed to judgment. Erica Marrero and Kyle Dietrich were fired. Officer Jaron Jones resigned. It's reprehensible, and that's why they no longer work here. Stop. I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. Last August, a 911 caller reported a suspicious man in a ski mask. McLean's family says he wore it because of a blood condition that made him feel cold. Stop tensing up. Stop. Relax. Stop. Officers used a carotid chokehold to subdue McLean as he pleaded for his life. I oh, wasn't trying to do that. I can't breathe correctly because. Police say McLean tried to grab Officer Jason Rosenblatt's gun. When Rosenblatt later received this picture in a text message, he replied, ha ha. He was also fired. There was absolutely nothing funny about this. A paramedic injected McLean with a heavy sedative, two heart attacks, and three days later, he died, having committed no crime. All of the officers who are involved should be fired, and they should be fired and not able to be hired in any other department right. where they will continue to kill. <laughs> well, time now, 6.44 a.m. Still ahead, heavy rains causes major flooding in Japan. Yeah, plus recent shark sightings have officials in Cape Cod warning residents about more than just COVID-19 this summer. Time now, 6.44. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Homeworld. From living room to bedrooms to dining, you'll find a world of possibilities to furnish your home in style. Celebrate your own personal style with a 4th of July sale at Homeworld. There's never been a better time to add comfort to your living room, life to your dining room, and color to your bedroom. Save up to $500 and get 12 months financing during the 4th of July sale. Shop online at Homeworld.com with the code July 4th. Or book an in-store appointment and get the full experience in a safe and secure showroom environment. Perfect your summer style this 4th of July at Homeworld. Mary worried about her dad. Was he safer at home all alone? Or was he too isolated? Mary struggled not knowing the right thing to do. Then she learned about the plaza and all they're doing to keep residents safe, engaged, and connected. Now her dad has new friends, is more active, and checks in regularly. Instead of worrying, Mary finally feels relieved. Find out if the plaza is right for you or your loved one. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. This summer, we'll be traveling in a cabin where every seat is premium and all baggage flies free. So fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the panoramic views. Nissan is offering nonstop routes to summer. And now is the best time to get into a new Nissan. Get a low $179 per month lease on Sentra or get no payments for three months. Plus, we'll cover your payments for up to two more months. Need something? Try Check City Mill. Whether you have a green thumb, black thumb, or even two thumbs, City Mill's got your garden needs covered. Need something fast? Try Check City Mill. Now with buy online, pick up in-store. CityMill.com makes researching and buying so much easier. And your order's ready in two business hours. And don't forget to sign up at CityMill.com for special offers, promotions, and events. Need something? Try Check City Mill and CityMill.com. This segment of KITV4 Island News is sponsored by City Mill. This is Good Morning Hawaii. All right, welcome back. Time now 647. And Japanese authorities have advised the evacuation of over 200,000 people after torrential rains caused major flooding and mudslides in western Japan. Take a look. The record storms produced landslides that left the roads there impassable and homes and entire communities submerged with muddy water. As rescue and recovery efforts continue, Japan's prime minister is urging citizens there in affected areas to stay alert. Well, back here in the U.S., a newlywed couple is safe this morning after being swept away by a wave while trying to take the perfect wedding photos. Adrian Bankert explains how lifeguards pulled off the rescue. Oh, my God. Watch as this newlywed couple is swept away by a huge wave. The bride and groom posing for wedding photos on the rocks at the edge of Laguna Beach in California Tuesday. This giant swell looming in the distance. The powerful wave sweeps them away. The man filming stops to call for help. Then, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He finds the pair again in the rough water as rescuers arrive, passing a floaty to the groom, then racing for the bride pulled away by the current. He ditched the flotation device, which is a very um, brave move on his part, and went out to rescue the female. Uh, with without a rescue tube and was able to drag them close to one another. The lifeguard attempts to pull her to shore. Watch as another wave crashes on top of them. Finally, the two lifeguards carry the drenched and exhausted bride onto dry land, her soaked white gown dragging through the sand. Lifeguards say the waves fueled by high surf caught the couple off guard. The two shaken up but safe with no major injuries. Anytime somebody's on the rocks, they always have to be looking out towards the ocean so they can see any sort of wave that's that's coming that's on the horizon. They just put themselves in, in a situation that was difficult and precarious, and luckily the outcome was positive in this case. Hey, well, at least, uh, at least the marriage isn't on the rocks. <laughs> so, all right, well, back here at home, strong winds nearly blew away a four-year-old boy along Oahu's leeward coast. It happened at Tracks Beach Park in Nanakuli on Thursday. James Lima says the sand anchor holding an inflatable raft in place snapped, causing it to float away. His son, Zayrin, held on for dear life as James and other family members swam out after him. We were all right there, but by the time we could assist the situation, he was just blowing offshore quickly. That's a big raft with a 20-pound kid on top, and it, and it blew him faster than what we could get to. Wow, a kayaker and paddleboarder caught up to the four-year-old and brought him back to safety. So glad he's okay. All right, well, we are now taking a live look out at Waikiki. You can uh, see some surfers uh, taking advantage of these early morning waves out there. KTV4's Allison Valdez has your holiday weekend forecast. How's it looking, Allison? Hey, Tom and Annalisa, surf's looking not too bad for today. We're expecting two to four foot waves for those east and south facing shores, one to three for the west, and a calmer conditions up north, so that might be a better bet if you want to take your cake to the beach, and you might even have a better chance of having your own space and keeping your distance. Winds are light and variable for today, and mostly in the single digits, about actually five to 15 miles per hour for today, and our high tide is around 3.30 this afternoon at about two and a half feet. Now, as we go island by island, like we saw earlier on our Doppler radar, we 
we are seeing a lot of shower activity, especially offshore, but as far as the rainfall making land, we are expecting some passing showers for the Windward and Malka spots. Just your typical areas for morning rain, a little bit heavier rain for this morning compared to what we've been seeing earlier in the week. So wetter conditions for today for those windward and Malka spots and partly cloudy skies there over on the leeward side. It'll be hot and sunnier there for the morning, reaching 88 degrees in Makaha, 89 in Kapolei. By the time we reach our afternoon, we have a higher chance of seeing clouds and showers for those leeward and central areas. Kahului, 91 degrees for today, but it'll feel like the upper 80s because of that high humidity. Our breeze, not much of a breeze for today, so it won't give us some relief from that heat. Mostly cloudy over near Gila with more morning sunshine in Kailua Kona at 86 degrees. So today, again, like I mentioned, just some morning rains for the Windward and Malka spots. Some of those could be heavier, so just watch out as you head outside and start to drive on those slick roadways later on this afternoon. Clouds and showers for leeward and central areas. Hot and humid with our high at 88 degrees. And if you're making plans for today for your Independence Day, don't cancel them. We do have a good chance of some scattered showers for Windward and Malka spots this morning, shifting over to Leeward and Central later on in the day, some of that rain lingering into the night, but it's not going to be a washout. So again, don't cancel those plans. Just be prepared for a little bit of some wet weather. And then here is your extended forecast. It'll be a hot week ahead of us with our highs in the upper 80s. Not much of a breeze for today and tomorrow. Our trade slowly building back in starting Tuesday, becoming breezy again by our midweek. That's a check on your weekend forecast. Tom and Annalisa, back to you. All right, thanks, Allison. Time now, 6.52 a.m. As we celebrate the 4th of July weekend, officials in Massachusetts are concerned sharks may be more active along beaches this summer. Will Reeves has the details. This morning, as people across the country head to open beaches for the holiday, not only to watch out for COVID-19, but also for what might be in the water. So we now have had more sharks than ever. We believe very strongly it's just as dangerous as last year. Officials in Cape Cod saying sharks are coming close enough to the shore to be a concern. You've got a predatory shark called the white shark that's coming in very close to shore to feed on a growing population of seals. There should be a higher level of vigilance when it comes to getting in the water because of this, this predator-prey relationship. So he's at 10 o'clock, 9 Greg Scomel right is a fisheries biologist specializing right in sharks. White shark. There's no reason in the world for people to, be, to feel any differently this summer than they would any other. Two shark attacks on seals, favorite shark food, documented there in recent weeks. And in Miami Beach, these sharks recently spotted near a popular swimming spot. What are we hoping for? Last summer, I was off the shore of Massachusetts tagging sharks with Greg. Oh, I see it. I see it. We found a nine-foot great white just feet away from an isolated beach. We're tagging a shark. Oh, wow. Got it. Oh, there's the fin. Once the tag's in it, we'll start learning from that fish. We'll learn about where it travels to. Now, volunteer pilots trying to help keep people safe from the sky, flying over beaches to radio in shark sightings. It's an imperfect system, but only came from you know, community efforts, people talking to people about it and getting smart people together and really good things happen. And officials also using an app called Sharktivity from the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy to track shark sightings and signals up and down the coast. This is a look at the past month, the blue representing where sharks have been spotted, the green showing where tagged sharks have sent signals. It's pretty cool, but uh, I mean, if, if I don't see any sharks, I'll be perfectly fine with that, you know? <laughs> All right, and that was uh, Will Reeve reporting there. Your time now is 6.54. The pandemic has kind of put the brakes on most sporting events this summer. But coming up, we take a look at a decades-long New York tradition that not even the coronavirus can stop. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. This segment of KITV4 Island News is sponsored by Slumber World. Shop everything sleep this 4th of July. Save up to $1,000 or get up to 60 months special financing on Tempur-Pedic. Also, take advantage of exclusive offers at Slumber World featuring brands like Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest, and Eye Comfort. And don't forget about Slumber World's exclusive offer on a queen adjustable base. Normally $12.99.99, now $6.99.99 for a limited time only. Discover better sleep at Slumber World. Welcome to Ali'i Animal Hospital. I'm Dr. Joanna Cook. Our comprehensive care ranges from wellness and dental health to x-rays and ultrasounds, laser therapy, and more. Helping pets live their best life. 
visit aliianimal.com. You're ready to drive again, and not just to the neighborhood store. In a new Honda, you can enjoy the open road with powerful performance. And your money can go farther, too, because Honda holds its value better than any other auto brand. Your Honda dealer is offering flexibility, like shopping online, so you can purchase with confidence. Get your new Honda today. KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. Shop at over 47 stores for beauty and health, specialty stores, gifts, and clothing, financial and professional services, with restaurants and a supermarket. Join us for Farm Fresh Fridays for your favorite pop up vendors. KITV4 Island News Midday. Hawaii's first new newscast. Catch breaking news here first to keep you and your family safe and informed with anchor Brenton Awa. Island news that matters to you. KITV4 Island News Midday. Keeping you safe and healthy. KITV4 Island News. This is Good Morning Hawaii. All right, welcome back. Your time now 657 and the coronavirus pandemic has canceled sporting events across the country and around the world this year. As Karen Kaifer reports, it wasn't enough to stop a 4th of July tradition though in New York. Yeah. Among traditions that will go on this Independence Day, one may surprise you. It's going to be so different. Everything about it is different. Uh, only thing the same are the hot dogs. The Nathan's 4th of July hot dog eating contest. 12-time winner Joey Chestnut holds the contest record of 74 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. I'm happy that we're just trying to trying to make something happen. And, uh, and I think that's what everybody's trying to do.